Hey everybody, it's Julie, and I just want to show you um, a little haul that I have. I have been seeing all these videos about these really cool Martha Stewart molds. And um, I don't have a Michaels by me, and my Joann's doesn't have them. So I was, yesterday when we were um, at a tournament for softball, there was a Michaels not too far from there, so I decided that I would go ahead and stop. And they had some, it took me forever to find them, because I just didn't think that they would be in the scrapbooking aisle. I figured they would be by the clay. Um, so anyway, I went back by the scrapbooking aisle by their Martha Stewart stuff and just decided to go ahead and check there, and that's where they were at, and I was really excited. So I went ahead and I picked up the starter kit, uh, the one that has the um, cameo in it, the rose cameo, and then it has these frames, and then the heart and the square frame as well. And it also comes with the uh, white, I just have them in here, the white clay, the blue, the yellow, and the like magenta color and the brown. Uh, so that's the starter kit that you get. And then um, I also went ahead and I picked up the um, extra mold set that has the butterfly and then like this fern leaf and then the other leaves and the flower one as well because I wanted to try them out. And I knew that I would get use out of them. Otherwise, normally when I buy things, I only buy the like the try me part of it, you know, just to check it out, see if I'm going to like it or not. And um, so, yeah, so I got those. And then I went ahead and I, I couldn't like not I couldn't wait to like start them so I wanted to try them out a little bit and um, I have a few questions for you guys that have these already. Okay, if you look like on the edges here, you can see like that looks like paper fraying or whatever. What do you guys do to get that off? Is there a way to get that off? Because it just doesn't look professional. Well, not even professional, but just like finished with that on there. It kind of looks jagged and like kind of raggedy. But I made this brown color using just a little teeny, teeny, I mean it was teeny, a teeny bit of brown with some white because I wanted to try something like with the cocoa color brown. And I ended up getting this frame out of it, which the frame looks awesome. It comes out really great. These are really lightweight. They're very flexible. Um, these would be absolutely perfect for cards because they are so lightweight. And then I also did this fern leaf in there in this color. And I love the fern leaf too because it's very detailed. And then I also did one. I had enough of the brown to do one of like these um, Dahlia or Mums, whatever they are. And these are really cool. And I'm going to definitely use these for like... Uh, bobby pins because I think they're really really great and then um, yeah so I would love to know how you guys are getting that like little bit of I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not but there's like that little teeny bit of um, like it looks like little hairs almost like around the edges and I'd love to know how to get that off and then the cameo was the first one that I did and I screwed this one up really bad <laughs> look at that um, you can see like you're only, I guess, because my second one came out much better, but you only put the one color down inside where the rose part is at in the mold. Let me see if I can find the mold. It's probably the left. Where is the mold for the cameo? There it is. You only put the, um, like the color that you want that rose to be just down where the rose is supposed to be and then you have to be really careful and you can see like where those little edges are at right here you need to make sure that there's no clay on that because that'll show and you only want the um, rose part to be like your pink or whatever color else and then you put the white or whatever other color you want on there on top of it and it's supposed to look like this <laughs> see how much better that one came out than this one I was very sloppy with this one and I didn't realize it, but on this one I made double sure that I made um, all of those little crevices. They were only covered in the pink and then I put the white around it. So the white, that, that cameo came out really good. This one, not so much. It's going to have to go in the trash because there's really nothing you can do with it. And then I also got the one that has the leaves and these little leaves are really super cute, but they're kind of thick. Um, I didn't know... I mean, I don't really know how to make them thinner than this. I guess you put less clay in there, but then I don't know how you get the bottoms level. But um, anyway, the I like them, but they're kind of thick, so I don't really know what I'll use them for. And then you get the three sizes of the flower, which I do like that. And um, again, see how there's like that little bit of an unfinished edge there. I'd love to know how to get rid of that. I don't know if you have to use like a craft knife and cut it off or like if you can use like a nail file and shave it off. Like see there's a little bit extra on that. That I'm sure I could get off with my craft knife right there. And then there's the round frame, which I really like. That came out fabulous. I love the detail in that. And then um, 
I also, I haven't done these ones yet, but there's the little fo like photo corners or decorative corners. And Okay, and then um, it also comes with this heart one, which is really cool too. I like this one a lot. I haven't tried that one yet. And the butterfly. I haven't tried the butterfly, but I'm really excited to try that. I can't wait to do that one. Um, but I think that these are really, really cool. And for the, the clay that you get in the starter kit is a lot. You know, I... I barely used any to make all of these that I've already made. Um, and I wondered, and you guys can tell me this because you probably know already because I know that a lot of people have these, but if you can use just the regular air dry clay, you know, that they sell at Hobby Lobby because I know Hobby Lobby had some in their clearance art section. They had air dry clay for like $3.99 for a good size package of it. Um, and then also, can you use like regular, um, like, Themo clay or Sculpey clay in these. I think that you can. I don't know why you couldn't, right? And maybe UT as well since this is silicone um, because I think that a, like a hard or a resin one would be really kind of cool. I don't know how to do resin but I know how to use UT and I thought that that would be kind of cool in there too. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think about um, the Martha Stewart molds because I think they're, you know, I like them. Um, and I'd like to know like um, what's your favorite mold is, which one is your favorite, which which one should be the next um, uh, set of molds that I get, which one of the, the ones that she carries should be the next one that I get, like which ones are the most useful. All right, everybody, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.